Presenting the new adventures of Pinocchio. Here's Pinocchio, what a happy lad since the day he lost his string. He can walk and talk and fly. Do anything I try. He can dance, sing a tune, play a flute. Do anything I try. But never, 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 ever should he ever tell a lie. Cricket and Pinocchio never seemed to be able to keep out of trouble. How they wandered into that U.S. Army missile testing ground, I'll never know. And of all people, who do they meet but Foxy Fibble and Cool S. Cat, who were just thrown out of the missile base office for trying to sell some crazy idea about instant air. Foxy tried to convince Pinocchio that he could be famous if he would try out his instant air in a real rocket. They were just about to enter the rocket field when Foxy got trapped by that electric fence, giving our friends a chance to make their escape. But Foxy's not through yet, not by a long shot. Ow! Get me out of this thing! Like man, dig those crazy fireworks. Hey, Crick, we just can't run away and leave them caught in that fence. You're right. Okay, we'll try to help them. But remember, after that, we're on our way. Hey, where's Crick? What do we do? Wait a minute, Pinocchio. I'll see what it says in my boy Cricket's handbook. Yikes! Stop fooling around and get us off this fence. Yes, yeah, right away, now. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Come on, come on! Oh, yes, here it is. If someone touches a live wire and can't let go, do not touch it yourself because you two will get a shock. That's what happened to cool Pinocchio. Like, man, who cares? Can the speech and get us off before the fillings in my teeth melt. Pull the victim away from the wire with a piece of wood. A piece of wood? Where can we find a piece of wood? Wait a sec, Pin. I'll get my glasses and help you look. For goodness sake, stop all this nonsense and get us off this fence. You just have to be patient until Pinocchio and I find a suitable piece of wood. Listen, you gnat brain nitwit. Pinocchio is made of wood. I am not a gnat. I mean, I'm made of newt. Uh, newt a toot. Uh, well, anyway, I'm a gratis assimile. I, my good sir, am a cricket. <laughs> get us off of here. <laughs> Like, man, this'll never replace night baseball. My little firewood friend, you have saved the life of one of the world's most famous and important men. As a reward, I'm gonna make you famous. You wanna be the first man, a uh, puppet, to go into orbit. First, we'll have to find a rocket for you. Now, just step right this way. Uh, be a good lad and hold this wire. Well, <laughs> here we are, my boy. This rocket may very well carry you to immortality. Well, I guess that'd be fine. But what I'd really like is to find the blue fairy and become a real boy. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course. Now, you see those stars twinkling up there? One of them might very well be your blue fairy. Gee, do you really think so? Of course. <laughs> here we go. I don't know, Pinocchio. I don't think this is such a good idea. Here's your little beetle buddy in a supply of instant air. Bon voyage! <laughs> well, here we are. Now, all I have to do is push this button, like so. Help! I thought I asked you to stand guard. What an end. The coolest cat of all, cooling in the cooler. Well, that looks like the end for Foxy and Cool. In jail at last, where they belong. Just how long they're going to stay there, I don't know. It doesn't look as though they have much chance to escape. Be sure you're watching the next exciting story in The New Adventures of Pinocchio.